beginning of the end. It was a cold and frosty morning that fateful day, the day that changed the trajectory of the entire world. I remember catching a train to arrive at my office as I was in a rush. The train was crowded with people of all ages and I struggled to find a seat. When I did though, I let out a sigh of relief. I waited for my destination to arrive, but that day it never ever did. As I sat and waited, the train surprisingly took a sharp halt. Everyone was quite confused. Suddenly, we heard loud screams and everyone started panicking. I got up and started making my way to the nearest window. I was luckily able to open one. And when I did, I saw a large, dark shadow. It was huge, actually. But what concerned me was the fact that the shadow seemed to be moving. I saw the shadow nearing towards our train and as it did, it engulfed every object in its path. I let out a silent scream and then quickly ran for the door. Some men had already opened it, so I was luckily able to escape. I ran in my high heels as fast as I could. I ran for my life as I heard people screaming and crying. I got out of the station and saw multiple of those black shadows hovering in the sky. I was scared, very, very scared. Then suddenly, a man reached out to me, grabbed my hand and asked me to follow him. In that state of panic, I did as he instructed, knowing I shouldn't be. He then took me to a very shabby looking house and then opened one of the rooms to a thick steel door. The door revealed an underground area and I was very hesitant to go down there, but my gut said otherwise. I followed him to the huge area downstairs and to my surprise, there were so many people and families. All of them were huddled against each other and praying. The man then went upstairs and closed the door. I was out of breath and without wasting a second, I asked him what was going on. With a fearful expression, he explained that these black shadows were actually extraterrestrial creatures tasked with the extermination of humans and animals. He further introduced himself as Mr. Elvis, saying that he was a scientist working with the government. The government had prior information about the attack, but remained silent to prevent any damage. The mysterious man then said that he couldn't just stay silent and watch his fellow humans getting ruthlessly killed. So he started harboring his family, friends and some strangers in this underground noise-free space. It was a lot to take in, honestly. I still couldn't believe this was happening. As I tried to come into terms with this new situation, I accepted my new reality and decided to stay with Mr. Elvis till things calm down outside. It has been exactly one year, two months and ten days since the first attack. Things seem to have gotten better as we have got radio transmissions of human survivors looking for help and fighting back. Everybody in this underground space, including me, has decided to go back to land and help other humans out. After so many long, dreadful days, I'll be finally seeing the sunlight. Today is March 15th, and I finish my journey today. Hopefully, this will be a start to a new beginning. Signed out. Thank you.